Hello, my dear students. Welcome to a very new semester, Atem 2020. My congratulations to the entire batch of students to, be, to being promoted to your fifth semester. I know the journey in the past two or three months were a bit different. And at the same time, your new semester too will be a little bit different. We are not going to start our regular offline classes. The semester will be completely online as of now. We don't know what happens after the next two or three months. Let us be positive and be hopeful that we will be meeting soon. So I request all of you to maintain good health and stay positive. So, and we will be having our regular classes from now onwards. We will be meeting through various meeting platforms. I'll be regularly sending you class notes. I'll be sending some video updates. So I request and suggest all of you to follow whatever is being taught. So my dear students, in this semester, I will be teaching a very new subject to you. And the name of the subject is transportation engineering. So uh, even I'm taking the first time I'll be taking classes to your batch. Most of you know me, although I have not taken any classes earlier. So for those students who do not know me, my name is Ankur Goswami. I have been teaching at Assam Don Bosco University since last five years. I have done my BTEC from NIT Agartala and MTech from NIT Silchar. My area of specialization is transportation engineering. So I'll be very happy to teach this course on transportation engineering. You might be thinking that what are you going to learn in transportation engineering or what is basically transportation engineering? So basically, you know about transportation from a very early stage. You know what is transportation, roads, railways, airports, uh, water transportation are various modes of transportation. Now the question comes is what is the role of a civil engineering in a transportation engineering? So the role of civil engineering is to construct the elements of transportation engineering. We have to construct the roads. We have to construct various elements of the roads. We have to construct the railway lines, various elements on which the railway tracks lies. Okay, that is our responsibility. We have to construct the elements of airport. We have to construct the elements of water transportation, that it be decks or jetties or whatever. We have to construct the runways. My dear students, Though the transportation engineering is having different sub branches, the most important field of study in transportation engineering in civil engineering is the study of highway engineering. Though we term it as highway engineering, the main concept is it is basically the study of construction of roads, not only highways, any type of roads. It may be a village road, it may be a city road, or it may be a national or state highway, or it may be an expressway. We study about their constructions, various elements of the roads in this subject known as transportation engineering or basically highway engineering. So in your subject of transportation engineering, in your syllabus in this semester, you will be having only topics related to highway engineering or roadways. We are not going to study about railways, airports or water transportation. All these subject topics you will be studying in your higher semesters, some as core subjects and some of these as elective. But highway engineering is a core subject which we are going to study in this semester. So dear students, when we say highway engineering, it is basically divided into three broader topics. One is geometric design of highways, another one is pavement design of highways, and another one is traffic engineering and transportation planning. Yes, students, when we say geometric design, why, what do we basically understand? We understand the design of the various elements that you see in the roads. For example, in the roads, there may be a horizontal curve, there may be a vertical curve. What is a horizontal curve? It is that curve in which suppose you are going in a straight path and suddenly the path changes in a left direction or in the right direction. So, that type of curve is known as a horizontal curve. And what is a vertical curve? Suppose when you are moving in a hill 
or you are moving in a valley, suddenly the road rises upward. The same thing happens when you are moving on a on the top of a flyover. So when you're moving upward or when you're moving downward, that type of curve is a vertical curve. So you, you cannot simply go and construct a road whenever there is a horizontal curve or vertical curve. You need to make certain calculations. Those type of design elements are known as geometric design. We need to take care of the stopping side distance, overtaking side distances, because a driver should always have sufficient distance free of sight in front of him or her available so that the driver can drive comfortably without causing any type of accident. So my dear students, we are going to study all these topics in this particular top area known as geometric design of highways. There's another broader area known as pavement design of highways. So what is pavement design? It is basically the materials of which the road will be constructed. When you say pavement, many times the students get confused. They think that, they, they think that the pavement means footpath. I would like to make it clear on the first class itself that pavement actually does not mean footpath. The pavements mean the road itself. Okay. In common terms, we can say the pavement, the footpaths to be pavements. But when we say pavement design, it is the design of the layers of the road. You see the roads are made of maybe bitumen or maybe concrete. Okay. So we have to check that construction of the road, <coughs> uh, whether it is made of bitumen or concrete, how, do, how much amount of bitumen will you be using? Or how much amount of concrete will you be using? How much, what will be the underlying layers of the road? All these things we have to identify as an engineer. And that is where comes the study of the pavement design. Third, and another important topic is transportation planning and traffic engineering. That is an, another subject, which is an elective subject, which you will be studying in your higher semester. We'll be studying a little bit of transportation planning and traffic engineering in this semester also, but not in greater details. So traffic engineering, suppose a road, a, a highway infrastructure is incomplete, only having the geometric design and pavement design. The highway infrastructure should also have traffic elements. For example, there should be traffic signals. You should know where you have to put the traffic signs you have you should know where you have to put the proper traffic uh, signals you should know where you have to construct a flyover okay so all these are various traffic elements there is a, it is the role of a civil engineering to study the transportation planning we have to know where to construct the roads in wh in which population density what should be the how much amount of road length should be there so my dear students, uh, I would not go into detail in today's lecture. I, it, I would like to, I, I, I wanted to introduce to you to, to the subject. There are lots of theoretical act and calculative aspects of the subject, okay? This subject is very easy if you take interest. Why am I saying it is easy? It is easy because whatever you will study, you have already seen those things. You might not have taken important note of that thing, but you have already seen horizontal curves and vertical curves. You might not have said that this is a horizontal curve or this is a vertical curve, but you have actually observed that the horizontal curve is there and there is a vertical curve. You have observed that there is a flyover. You have observed that there are traffic signs. You have observed that there is a different type of pavement in some roads known as concrete pavement. Okay. So, now you are going to study in detail about all this infrastructure. So that is why I'm saying that it's a very easy, simple and interesting course. So dear students, I'm there to help you in this new course. And uh, my suggestion to you is be optimistic. And uh, you ask me whatever you doubt you face, clear it uh, at once. So if, if there is any doubt in today's lecture, you can contact me through Google Classroom, through mail, through phone calls, and you can clear the doubts, okay? So uh, we will be meeting you very soon through Google Meets. Uh, so that's all for today. Uh, thank you so much.